Okay, hello. Uh, today we're going to uh, um, code this game for the PlayStation Portable, or we're going to port it to the PlayStation Portable. So it's a Windows game, and it's on the channel how to create this, and it's first a text uh, game, and after that I added in OpenGL, and after that I added in a title set. So let's port this to PlayStation. The first we're going to do in our main here is to close all that crap. <laughs> we'll open up soon. Anyhow, we're going to copy in the PlayStation uh, PSP texture that we did in in the last um, last attempt. I need the on-screen controls. There we go. And uh, this code has an error, so if you've been following the la last video, it's not the tutorial, it's live coding, right? So I'm fine with it has errors. If you see, it's a white line down here, and I had really trouble getting the texture to work in that other video. I now know why. So let's close that. Uh, and I can tell you why. This image data, pixel data, need to be aligned on 16 bytes, and it's not, and that's what's wrong. Let's see if we have, we have image here. Can I open up the image? So here we have the image, and it has an int that's 4 bytes, has another int, has another int, then we are on 12 bytes, and this char starts on 12 bytes. It's not aligned with 16. This is actually not uncommon. Uh, let's open up the drawing tool. And there we go. So you have a pointer, and the pointer, let's say, that is uh, 8005. Just, just lie up a pointer here. <laughs> That's a, I have no idea what this points to. Doesn't matter. It's too short, also. Doesn't matter, anyhow. But a lot of hardware uh, don't, don't use all of the pointer size, it just uses some of them. So maybe this part is used, and this part is not. And that's just to save the hardware. You don't need to uh, create all the address lines in hardware if you don't use all of the address. So in uh, this example, we have uh, four address lines that are responsible for that 5 there, and we have another 4, and then the next 4, and probably the next 4. So to address a memory that's at uh, 8005, we need 16 of these address lines. But we could just cut it down to 12 if we want to, but then, then we can't address the last digit here. And that's what's happening, and that's also why we need to have it aligned on a specific alignment. So if we go back to here, so our pixel data here is aligned on 12, but it's required to be aligned on 16, and the pointer here, that pointer needs to be aligned on 16 in this SEGU copy image. And that's why we got corrupt texture. So white line here. And uh, yeah, long explanation. Uh, hope you got it. There is a workaround for this. An easy workaround would be to go on into the image. There we go. Now I added four other bytes and we get a line on 16. This is not totally true on all compilers, but since the construct could start on other addresses than aligned addresses, but I'm pretty sure the compiler is smart enough to not break my full struct here. So it's probably aligned correctly to start with. We just go uh, uh, unaligned uh, du during this. And this will cause us an error later. But anyhow, we start with this. So let's go to the game. So we have the game graphics here, and this game graphics is in um, 
RGB without an alpha, and we really need the alpha for PlayStation Portable. But since the uh, problem with with, um, with the alignment, I will not export this with just alpha, because I'm gonna need to manually go in and modify it, which which I could I could add that on the unused field, but I think we just copy it over to memory and fix it while we're copying it over. Um, kind of like we do the fill texture here. So I got the code here for for the the game. So you need just need to copy over that, copy over that here. So I can't even close the piece protection now. I don't need that example. So let's see where we are. We can start with the image. It should be snake tile set. Just start with that. And apparently it's not called uh, image data anymore. It's called snake tile set maybe. And there we got our snake tile set. And as you can see now it's totally corrupt. And that's because there's a different size. So see where we have sizes on it. It's only here. I happen to know the size, so I will hard code it. And this is why this is not a tutorial. Now we need to hard code it when using the texture also. And other places. So you see it looks very really corrupt. And that's because I don't have an alpha channel on it. So fix that. How should we fix that? We need uh, to modify the fill in texture here. I have this size and I'm hoping that this is alignment. There is um, a GCC alignment here you can type in, but I think it will align anyhow. So let's yes, let's use that and hope for that. So we are going to loop through all the data in the snake tile set pixel data and transfer over those to our texture we're going to use. I'm just going to type out this stuff. That's all we need to do. So we're going to loop through each pixel and we know the pixel is four bytes on one side and three bytes on the other. So just going to say i times three and times four and then just plus it with the first byte, second byte and third byte and the last byte is the alpha channel which we're going to hard set. So let's run that. And that still looks corrupt because we're not using the texture. Probably should use it. And it actually jumped down to where where we need to set it for some reason, but okay. That's that's great because I just can type texture there. Uh, and I can remove the commented outline there. And that looks perfect. Not screwed up at all. So that clearly did not work. What did go wrong? Did I copy something wrong here? Uh, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? Times 4, plus 1, plus 2, plus 2, and plus 3. Texture fiction. Did I really mess up that much? Okay, now we got colors. Why doesn't this one have got colors? Don't say a word. There we go. There we go. Shouldn't be int. Of course, I'm handling uh, bytes. So yeah, now now we got um, 
Now, now we got the texture. Now we need to add in a bit of the actual game code. So I have the Windows version here. So we need to add in that stuff apparently. Let's see where do I include the texture. Here we have to include the texture. And then we need uh, a lot of stuff for for the game. And if you want to see how this is coded and look like one of the first videos on the channel, when I uh, live code that, I'm just going to dump that in after fixing up the texture there. Here we go. Let's see if it compiles. It complained about RAND. Uh, implicit declaration of RAND, we do need RAND. So, if I'm not remembering wrong, it's in math or standard lib. It was not in math, maybe it's in standard lib. Yep. I didn't see the error, so I guess it's in standard lib. Might need math later. Or maybe not. Did I get the compiler error? No. There we go. Um, then we have all the logic, more or less, for the game already in. But we don't have the display function, that's a big one. But let's add in, we have a setup that needs to be executed. And let's add in that one. And we are going to dump it after all of the code for, for the game. So this sets up the game so that I'm not confuse it with, with OpenGL setup or PlayStation setup or something like that. We need to call it down here somewhere. So we fill in the texture, we set up the PlayStation, we initialize OpenGL for the PlayStation, which Probably should have a better name than name than initialize, but I'm going to set up the game. Uh, let's see if it crashes. No, so now it should have set up Snake Game. Snake Game, of course, isn't running, but anyhow, I think an idle function is missing, and here we have the idle function. Yeah, I was waiting for it to complain and don't work, so I was like, uh. What's going on? We need the keyboard function also later. Um, where should we dump that one? We have PSP set up before this stuff I have. Put it. So we have the game start with the start with PlayStation um, uh, thread for, for terminating everything. That, that's the start up here. Start with that and then it goes into the game logic. And then goes to the drawing functions. I, th I think that's a fine. And I can find my way around. So we don't have a use leap in, in uh, the PlayStation. No, no, we do not. And it complains about setup also. So where do we have? Where does it use setup? Game. Okay, so we need to solve uh, the use leap. We're going to solve it by defining uslip to s e e g e or is it g u kernel thread delay. Let's see if it compiles. It complained about that, so that that wasn't it. Okay, so uh, apparently it's not in the g u, which g u is graphics, so that makes sense. Now we just have a glute uh, post to redisplay that's complaining. So where are we? This is an idle function. We do not need to swap displays here. We can do that in, in the um, uh, draw function. In, in glut, you, you normally just post, hey, could you call my display function? But we're going to the, call it in the loop down here, so it doesn't matter. Could probably wait for for um, 
the vertical blank display wait we are blank yep there we go idle funk handles our game code That goes a lot slower. Something is happening in the background. The um, update just tanked. I think we have got a bit of delay going on in our background. So that's fine. Now let's go into the... Uh, oh, we need to update the keyboard function. Keyboard function doesn't do much here. Uh, so what, what did we have before? This is our keyboard function from the Windows version. Let's copy paste that. Okay, uh, so instead of a switch, we are just going to have ifs here. So we have controller button. I think it is. PSP control. Really do not hear myself start. We have that, so we're going to uh, do a setup game so we can uh, restart the level faster. But mostly for testing. So if we pressed up, we need to execute that part of this code. And then we have uh, down, left, right, and let's fill in the correct values for those. There we go. Then we should have, um, really need to hear myself a bit. There we go. Um, so now we should have the keys register, but uh, of course nothing happens. We don't know if anything works. We don't render out anything yet. So let's go into the display function and see if we can magically get this a little bit working a bit like the Windows version. We just going to copy over most of this code, if not all actually. We just take everything except the flush and swap buffers in the end. We don't need that. And then where should we dump in this code? At the start maybe? Then we have some code, this is not uh, rendering code. Let's add in that. Oh, there we got the render. So we need to replace the render down here. And we need to replace it with something that looks like this. So this stuff setup needs to go before. That was a mistake of uh, copy and paste it in that order, but hey. And then um, uh, finish and sync can be after. We actually need all of that in here instead of this. I think it can be after actually. Sync can be after. So we need to transform, we, we have the vertexes in this uh, list, if you remember correctly. Those vertexes was in the list, see if we can fi find that up. Up here, so we ha have a, they're going to go into that list there. But they're also in list here and we don't need to draw a full cube to be honest, but yeah. But we need a new list to fill in. So let's create a new block here. They're saying you can't create uh, 
variables in the middle of a function in C. Well, I'm just saying uh, create a new block. I mean an if block, a while block works fine. So why not just create a, just a block? There we go, I have the block. We have a struct, a vertex, vertexes, four of them. Texas zero. Let's fill in that. We need to fill in that with. Uh, let's see. We're actually going to do like this instead. Yep. Texas. Uh, we need to allocate memory for it. I can't use the static that's up there because that's just one vertex, and I need the uh, or what can. Uh, one vertex is four vertexes, but it will draw two polygons, and I need to redraw those polygons for each X and Y in, in that snake game. So, um, I do believe it's called get memory. Um, I need four of those. Let's see if that's what it's called. It complains on the color, so we're not going to use that, so you can take that away. And it complains for GE get memory, is it GU get memory? And it stopped complaining. What this will do is will allocate memory on that list. So we have that memory area, that's called the list. And we're going to push in OpenGL uh, commands to it. Or actually we're going to uh, push in um, GU commands that the PlayStation wants to use. But in our program here, we're going to create uh, like OpenGL functions and that's going to fill in this list. And at some part of this list is we just allocate a space and say, hey, <laughs> that's our space for our vertexes. So that's what we're going to do. Because then they don't get overdrawn. And when I restart this list, by the way, uh, this is going to be cleared out, so it's fine. When you start restart the list up here somewhere, there we go. There we start the list, new, and then we don't have any allocations in it anyhow, anymore. So now we need to set up uh, this part. It looks extremely messy. I only think we have two variants of it. We've got the width and the height, and the width has two variants. It's got the x, x1 and x2, which are the two corners of um, this uh, quad which will be drawn as uh, two polygons, but yeah. So we ha have those. Need to, st to use store here somewhere. So let's, let's call it x1 and x2, because it will be easier to read later if I just break this out. There we have it. Then we need the quad size, and I believe that's two also. So that was the chord size. Uh, that was the texture coordinate I, I broke out, and now we need the uh, polygon. Same same thing. Um, I got. I guess we got um, U one and U two. Quad size. Minus one. And that was plus one. Yeah. Good that I figured out this uh, math before uh, when I created the. Uh, Windows version. There we go. 
then we do not need this stuff. Let's not remove it yet. No, I don't know if this works yet. So now let's start to fill in. Uh, fill in this, I believe it was the texture coordinate first, but which format was the texture coordinate in? That's a good question. That is a good question. Do I have a uh, texture? Oh yeah, yeah. Now I know. Now I know. Now I know. So we need to fill in first x1, y1, and then we need to fill in u1, v1, and the color also. It took a color. There we go. So that's our first vertex. So I don't have this uh, GL begin and uh, text cord. I don't have those uh, in the SDK or PlayStation. So that's why we need to play around with, with the values a bit here. So that's X2. And that one should also be X2. And I'm guessing it's 1122 two here. And it is. Uh, wait, did I look at the correct place? It's, that's why I wanted to do this update. Yeah, it is. That was correct. Now let's see what the quad says. That should be like that. And on the other, it's like that. And then it complained. Uh, expected expression before. Okay, yeah, that's fair. I just need to tell, tell the compiler what type that is. There we go. I mean, it looks uh, almost done. I can see the, the snake game in the background there. So it is there. Barely. <laughs> uh, it's drawing too much. It's drawing 12 times 3 which isn't what we wanted to draw here. We just wanted to do, draw two, two um, polygons before we had a cube and it has six sides and two polygons each side. So that's why we had 12. Now let's just draw, draw two of them. Ah, huh. I'm getting close. Still, still have a cube in the middle. Uh, I guess I'm drawing that down here. And I should set in a texture. Uh, set in the texture here also. Not needed to set it multiple times. I can just move that up. We're just going to use this texture. And that's the only texture we're going to use. We can move that up there. And uh, remove that. And I probably should uh, get rid of this uh, rotation now. So let's do that somewhere we have a rotation. So let's get rid of that rotation. There we go. Need to zoom in a bit. Change where we have the camera. And it is pushed down. So on top here should be logo. We don't have uh, space for that on the PlayStation Portable, so... Uh, and then we see that something is going wrong with each tile. But let's uh, modify uh, why it's pushing down first. So here we go. It actually says plus logo there, so let's remove that. There we go. Uh, it needs to be stretched out a bit. And I think it has to do with the perspective. The size on the PlayStation is 16 by 9. But um, so the display is like 
16 times 9 is not exactly 16 times 9. It's 9 point something or 8 point something, but uh, doesn't really matter. What we're going to do is anyhow, yeah, uh, when, when we draw the OpenGL, it doesn't matter because the size of this one will be 2 times 2, going from minus 1 to 1. Um, anyhow, so this doesn't really matter for us. We're going to set it to 1.0. Maybe we should point out to someone looking at the code that this is display ratio there. So I'm just going to say that the screen uh, resolution is the same size and width. And OpenGL is going to go from OpenGL is going to go from minus one to one and zero in the middle there. So it, it, for for OpenGL it doesn't really matter what screen size it is. So they are they are why I set it to to um, one. But we still have an offset on the have an offset for some reason on the graphics. It's so probably it's time to transfer over this to the PlayStation and see that it crashes. I mean, works. So um. Need the cable. There we go. Just waiting for it to connect. Windows, they're going in Windows. Lease bin price. Here we go. And this will crash. This will crash a lot. Ah, oh, look. <laughs> I got icons. I fixed icons. That's for the next video. Maybe you could see this, maybe you couldn't, because the camera is bad-ish. Oh, there we go. It actually is running. The uh, question is, does it crash when I go out? Because that's normal when it happens. So that's please wait. Oh yeah, it didn't crash. It didn't crash. We got the working program on first try. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's that's not how it usually goes down. Okay. Um, so it speeds long more. It just resets this game all the time. So that's another thing. But it just draw the wrong. It's offset wrong. I'm wondering if this one is isn't aligned correctly. So let's try to figure out how you align it. GNU align. Okay, so I had to Google that, but it's attribute align 16. And then we run it. And now it looks aligned. Now it looks good. So now it's just a question why it keeps resetting all the time. Need to figure that one out. Why does it reset all the time? So what do we have in the while loop? We have a display, but we blind uh, keyboard. The display seems to be working. Let's go to the keyboard, and it's setup game. That's the reset. And controller buttons, and we or out something. Should it be an AND here? Should probably should be an AND. Let me think, we got the buttons. 
and we need to add it to another one. Yeah. Where is the snake? The snake is up there, so I go left and down and right and up. I think you should transfer over this to the PlayStation Portable. Directly, you need to do that. This is starts to get interesting. Just waiting for Windows. Uh, it's not fun to wait for Windows. Windows is a pain. <laughs> If I had, if I was developing using Linux, I would set up a small script. Just mount this one, transfer, transfer over the compiles, transfer over the thing, and, and then uh, demount it again. I don't need to do it manually because <laughs> it's kind of annoying. So let's go into memory. Our snake game. I'm looking at the camera output over there. <laughs> I wonder if I can play on that. Probably not. And it doesn't even go into focus. Come on, focus on me. Hello, camera, focus. Can I get the focus? Where is the focus? Okay, then we have no focus. How does it look like? I see no snake. I do see the snake. Snake is moving. Oops, I crashed. So let's, um, it's too tiny on here, but it, it do run. Uh, let's quit out on that. So let's reduce down that. Uh, you're going to go to this, columns. Oh, I don't know how many we should have. Eight times, nine times, 16. <laughs> that wasn't correct. 16 times 24. No, we need more. 32. And just from nowhere, I'm going to say that we are going to use 21.12. There we go. Trial and error. That was trial and error on my part. So we don't really have a space to have the logo on the score showing. So um, I think when we just get game over this screen, we're just going to show the logo and show the score. Let's go down to the logo and the score and fix that. There we go it's down here and that's now much easier because we already have all of this, so we can just copy and paste that. So we need to draw the logo, and that's tile number 14. Apparently hard-coded to tile number 14. I wonder if we do need to change anything from that. That should display the logo. Uh, quad size undeclared. So we need quad size. We need to already have those. So up here then. Uh, main is normally non-static. Uh, non okay, cool for that. Um, so we added in those. And I think I forgot to close this one. There we go. I think that's what's wrong. And let's die. Come on, die, 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 die. Then you're dead. Okay, it didn't display anything. I oh, should render anyhow. Um, should always display tile 
14 when it's done with the drawing everything. Should I draw this on top of it? Ah, we don't need a quad size. Could I slop it back that? We don't need the quad size. Quad size is for the cells in uh, on the board. I mean, since we're not using that, we don't need the quad size. We just need minus one. It's going to be the full screen. Okay, you don't need that. Go away. There we go. I have our logo score thing. It's upside down, which is, of course, just swap the y-axis. Should should turn it around. That did. We need to render out the score. And the score is the next part here. Draw score. We can delete this. And this code will all also be available, of course, in the description when we figure out that everything works. There we go. And copy all of this. Because maybe, maybe copy all of the full block there and it should replace this stuff but in this case we need to set I don't think those are correct those are windows windows uh, coordinates but let's try it This is for the for drawing the score on the Windows game. The coordinates for the digits. Oh, I got two questions on, uh, on the, one on the last video and one on the other video, I think. Uh, one was how um, you learn C. Um, if you want to that I make a video about that, and I can do that. And the other one was a statement that you should uh, learn uh, newer stuff than this old stuff, but you wouldn't be looking at the PlayStation portable coding thing if you wanted to learn the new stuff or. Uh, so here we got the score. Up there we need to move it down there, so yeah, that's kind of off. But it did draw out correctly. We can delete that stuff that worked. And we just need to move this to another position. And I'm, let's see, it was quite high up, it's really high up, and that apparently is mine 0 0.75, which makes, yeah, it makes sense to me. Uh, so if I have a minus on it and set 25, 25, 40, 40, I got score. Where they should be, but they should be taller. So now we're just going to play around here until the score fits, and that was the wrong direction. Okay, that looks good. Uh, this should be. And just move it up a bit. Should really be zero, is it that? Okay, yeah. I mean, 
fine. <laughs> Looks fine. But it shouldn't be displayed all the time. It should only be displayed if we are on game over. Next game over. Okay, so let's play the game. So we're going left. It lagged there, I don't know why. Now it displays score with 900 as score. And let's restart, okay. Maybe the emulator, because it doesn't lag now. Score 2500. This works fine. Let's transfer it over to the PlayStation again. Okay, so here we got the game and uh, the icon on it, so I can switch to another game. Uh, how to add those I will show in another video, next video. I actually want to set it up in my ID, and so that's why we have those. And there we go, I have a little bit of trouble seeing the playing field here. Because I got the camera in my face, but except that. I think the game needs a bit of audio. Oh, now we got the score. 3,400. Yeah, so the game needs a bit of sound each time I eat one of those foods. foods. It needs to make a sound. I'm not promising that adding sound to this game in the next video, but it needs it. So that's that's the game, and uh, you can uh, if you look at the channel here. I have a three playlists: one on making a snake game, one on the OpenGL, and one on the PlayStation Portable. So that's the game. Uh, see you.